Summary of the Crossover by Kwame Alexander Josh gives a play-by-play -play account of a basketball game he is in. Then he says more about himself. His name is Josh Bell, but people call him Filthy McNasty. He is tall, has long hair, and wants to be famous for playing basketball. Josh's name comes from Horace Silver, who was one of Josh's dad's favorite jazz acts. Dad wrote the next song, Filthy McNasty, for Josh because he didn't like Silver's work. Josh didn't like his name at first because people made fun of it. But as he got better at basketball and his dad used that name to praise him, he started to like it. Josh has a twin brother named Jordan, who is known as JB. JB likes to bet and watch Michael Jordan play. Josh is crazy about his hair more than anything else. They set him apart from JB, make him feel cool like his favorite singers, and, most importantly, Dad used to wear them when he was a professional player. Dad's hair looked like wings. Josh will sometimes ask his dad if he misses playing hoops, and if he does, he will suggest that his dad play again. Dad, on the other hand, says he is happy coaching his family. Josh asks Dad about his title ring, and Dad says Josh can wear it when he becomes the man. JB tries to dunk the ball right before a game. Josh laughs and then dunks to show off. JB asks to bet during halfway. His bet has a lot of different parts, but if JB wins, he wants to cut off one of Josh's locks. Josh says no at first, but then says yes because he thinks the bet is too narrow for JB to win. As he sees all the pieces fall into place, his head starts to hurt. The team cheers and sings after the game as JB takes coach's scissors and starts to cut. Josh knows something is wrong when Von Dye yells, oh snap, because JB has cut five locks. Mom says this is a disaster and tells Josh to cut off the rest of his hair. After a week, the family goes out to dinner. Mom takes the salt off the table at the Chinese restaurant while JB gets Josh's duck sauce and dumpling soup. Josh didn't say anything, but JB knew what he wanted to eat even though he didn't say it. Josh misses his hair after he cut it off. He asks mom for a box to put them in, and she lets him go look for a hat box in her and dad's room. Josh and JB decide to look through dad's box of basketball stuff. The boys try on their dad's title ring and read old newspapers until they find a folder with two letters inside. One says that dad should try out for the Los Angeles Lakers, and the other says that dad won't play again if he doesn't agree to surgery for patellar tendinitis. Josh doesn't know why his dad has never had surgery. Since Josh and JB's hair looks the same, kids at school joke that they won't be able to tell them apart. Josh calls the new girl Miss Sweet Tea, and she asks the boys if twins can tell what each other is thinking. Josh tells her that you don't have to be a brother to know what JB is thinking just by looking at his face. After Miss Sweet Tea leaves, JB and Vondi talk about how pretty she is. Josh, who is trying to learn new words, says that she is pulchritudinous. He also doesn't understand why Miss Sweet Tea likes JB. Dad takes the boys to the recreation center to practice shooting after dinner. They play a game with some local college guys, and the guys win the game by asking dad for an autograph. Dad then takes them to Krispy Kreme and tells them his favorite story about how he taught them to play basketball. He says mom doesn't have to know. He tells them how the boys could make free throws like they were born to do it when they were only three years old. Miss Sweet Tea tells Josh how well he did in the next game and then gives JB some sweet iced tea. Josh missed some free throws during the game, so his dad makes him shoot 15 straight when they get home. Josh's mom saves him from this task so he can read before bed. Josh hears mom and dad fighting in the next room while JB is reading and listening to music. Mom wants dad to see a doctor about his high blood pressure, but he won't. Josh understands that this is why mom watches how much salt dad eats, and he thinks that his grandfather probably died of high blood pressure. The week after Thanksgiving, JB asks Josh to give a note to Miss Sweet Tea on his behalf while he is taking a test. Josh is caught by the teacher, and Josh decides to take the blame for JB. Mom scolds Josh at the office and tells him that if he cheats, he won't get into college. 
Josh doesn't get the chance to say what's going on. Even worse, gym class in the afternoon will be about CPR, not games. Josh has to help the teacher, and he gets angry when he sees JB and Miss Sweet T pass notes to each other. Josh tries to talk to JB about basketball, but JB doesn't seem to be paying much attention. Josh knows he thinks about Miss Sweet T too much. He tells his dad about the problem, but his dad just laughs and says they should get donuts. After that, Josh starts calling JB a show-off at the game. When the team wins, mom calls Josh into the kitchen later that night. She tells him that they will have bread and hummus for dinner because he has high blood pressure and needs to eat better. Josh knows that this is important, but he still feels like a victim. But when Josh's dad offers that he, Josh, and JB go out for barbecue after the next game, Josh tells him he's already eaten. A few days later, Josh and JB are making free throws when dad suddenly bends down. Josh is worried. JB sprays him with the hose, which wakes him up. Josh thinks he knows why dad is afraid of hospitals, dad's dad died in one. JB, on the other hand, won't believe there's anything wrong. Jordan gets a call from Miss Sweet Tea, asking for her. Josh tries to give JB the phone, but JB runs away and asks Josh to talk for him. Josh is able to pull it off, and he gets JB to agree to be Miss Sweet Tea's boyfriend on JB's behalf. JB is very happy. The next day, at Josh's table for lunch, JB and Miss Sweet Tea walk up. JB calls Josh filthy, but now it seems like a dirty joke. Josh and JB have a strange thing happen at practice after school. It seems like they both see a ghost at the same time, but they don't talk about it. After school, JB hangs out with Miss Sweet Tea, so Josh has to go to the library by himself to do his chores. He feels bad for himself, and then he sees JB and Miss Sweet Tea kissing, which makes things even worse. Dad is pulled over on the way to Josh's basketball game. Because he doesn't have his license, he and Josh are late. Josh is late, so coach makes him miss the first half of the game. Josh, on the other hand, doesn't try to work well with others. When this doesn't work, he throws the ball so hard at JB that he almost breaks his nose. When Josh's mom talks to him later about how he's been acting, Josh says that he's afraid that JB no longer loves him. Mom kicks him off the basketball team, so Josh tries to make up for what he did for the next week. But JB doesn't care about him. Josh watches games with his mom and dad from the top of the stands. He sees his dad yell at the ref. Dad's nose starts to bleed for no reason after he yells. The next day, if dad doesn't go to the doctor, mom threatens him. Not long after that, Josh was named the most valuable player by the local paper. Miss Sweet T and JB aren't happy for Josh, even though most of his friends are. Josh's brother JB keeps ignoring him, so Josh writes him a letter telling him that he feels lost and alone now that they don't talk. Josh feels even lonelier when Vondi gets a girlfriend too. Josh and Vondi are talking on the phone when Josh hears an odd sound coming from his parents' room. Dad is cleaning up vomit and holding his chest. Josh is worried, but his dad doesn't care and gives him a job offer as a coach. Josh is worried, but his dad tells him and JB that everything will be fine. During this talk, Josh also asks his dad to call him Josh, not filthy. When mom sees the look on dad's face, she gets scared. Again, they fight and dad still won't go to the doctor. Miss Sweet Tea comes soon after for dinner. Josh decides that he will call her the girl who stole my brother. She likes her mom's vegetable lasagna, and her sister goes to Duke, which is the place Josh wants to go to. Josh asks mom after dinner if he can come with them to dad's doctor's visit the next week. Josh sits with the team at the next game, and all of a sudden he realizes that mom and dad aren't in the stands. He and JB look like they've seen ghosts when they look into each other's eyes, but mom texts Josh to reassure him that everything is fine. Josh gives JB his list of English words of the week before the holiday break to help him study, and JB thanks him for the help. At lunch the next day, 
the coach tells Josh that his mom will let him play in the title game if he makes up with JB. Josh is happy, but he doesn't know what to do to make up with JB. He doesn't want to play in the event with his dad and JB because he and JB are still fighting. The day before the event, though, JB starts to talk to Josh and laugh with him. Josh and his dad play a warm-up game before the event. Dad steals the ball from Josh's run, then has a heart attack and passes out. CPR is done by Josh. As he tells Josh, JB, and mom that dad has a heart attack and is in a coma, the doctor tries to make them feel better. He tells them to talk to dad, but Josh is mad and doesn't want to talk when it's not clear if dad can hear him. Josh tells mom all the things that are making him angry, such as dad's promise to stay here forever, the fact that Miss Sweet Tea exists, and the fact that his hair is falling out. On Christmas Eve, dad finally wakes up. Dad tells his boys that they should always love and look out for each other after spending Christmas in the hospital with family. Then he and Josh talk to each other alone. Josh wants to know if his dad is going to tell him if he's going to play in the title game. Just before the title game, mom gets a call that dad had another heart attack, so she heads to the hospital. JB rides his bike after mom, while Josh rides with Vondi to the game. Josh sees JB and Miss Sweet Teeth sitting on the bench in the last few seconds of the game. JB is crying as Josh makes the last basket of the game to win it. The newspaper's tribute for dad talks about the best parts of his life and says he died at age 39. Josh feels like he doesn't belong at the funeral because there are no rules or hoops traditions. Josh gets a call from Miss Sweet Tea when he gets home. She tells him she's sorry and asks him to join her and JB at a college basketball game. Josh then goes outside to make free throws. He will soon be able to do it with his eyes closed. As he gets closer to his dad's record of 50 in a row, he thinks he hears his dad's voice. It really is JB. JB gives Josh dad's title ring and tells him that he must be the man now. Josh cries because he doesn't want the ring or the title. He gives JB the ball for the 51st free shot. About the author. Kwame Alexander was born in Manhattan to a family of artists and writers. His father was a publisher and his mother taught English. His siblings are models, photographers, and people who work in the entertainment business. He went to Virginia Tech to study medicine, but while he was there, he started writing poems for fun. Alexander started his own publishing company after a professor told him to take poems seriously. Since the early 1990s, he has been releasing poetry, but he didn't start writing verse novels like The Crossover until the late 2000s. In interviews, he has said that his middle school verse books are meant to bridge the gap between Shel Silverstein and Shakespeare and to get kids who don't like to read to read more. In 2015, the crossover won the Newbery Medal and was also named a Coretta Scott King Honor Book. Alexander lives in Reston, Virginia, and when he's not writing, he runs programs to teach kids about writing and publishing. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.